you walk out, there's a car with like a man, he's wearing a suit and glasses. In the other car behind behind the wheel in the driver's seat is some is kind Mr. of creature. Mind? Yeah. Mark Crombo Weebs, my name is Cole, his name is Mike, his name is Jay, we like anime, and this yeah, is episode do. 51 of the Anime Protagonist Podcast, <laughs> and this week, we've heard your requests, we've really thought about it, and we decided that this is a question that must be answered, mm-hmm. which anime character would make the best, the best Uber driver? Of course, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's important, we all, question, we've, all, yeah. we've all asked it, and of course, we're also going to discuss cringy anime moments it's gonna be cringe bro that's our specialty i feel i feel like cringe is where we like reside it's i our- feel like we are cringe we yes. are cringe yes. we do host an anime podcast yes, yes. that's but true we love it we yes. love how cringe we are yeah. speaking of cringe mike what's on your mind i'll tell you what's on my mind and i cringe every time i see someone in the store buying fabric softener okay well you're gonna have to tell me why i shouldn't buy fabric softener Listen, yeah. fabric softener is a lie. Okay. Look it up. Just Google it. Do a casual Google. Okay. All it does is wreck your washing machine and put a coating on your clothes that make your clothes yeah. stink. So make them soft. No, they, it doesn't, though. That's the trick. You, I, but it's called fabric softener. No, but it doesn't do anything. All it does is wreck. It all only causes harm to your clothes and your washer. There's no, there's no point to using it. All it does is bad things. I don't know. It makes my clothes soft. Jay, what's what's your opinion on this? It does make my clothes pretty soft. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You Mike. guys are living a lie. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you this. I don't know. But you, for real, that seems, you, it seems like you're lying to us. Yeah. This what, is, we should call this your wife courtesy, in here. This is courtesy of uh, uh, big anti-fabric softener, <laughs> Michael. <laughs> uh, for real, though, like you can use fabric softener on your clothes, and it's kind of fine, because yeah. it basically puts a wax coating on your clothes. But right. the issue is that the wax coating also coats the inside of, like, the mechanics of your washing machine. Oh, okay. Okay, and then I was going to ask you to tell me why it's bad for my machine. Yeah, yeah. So we got rid of it a while ago, and it's like, honestly, like, we haven't missed it. And you know, like, that weird smell you get sometimes on clothes that kind of doesn't go away? If you, like, you think you left them in the wash too long or something? Oh, usually the weird smell on my clothes is a result of something else, but we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course. It's... Yellow, right? Uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Calls a huge smoker. Chuffing darts. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a Canadian term for smoking cigarettes. Cole's just uh. going to come in one week talking like this. Yeah. Oh, man. I, like a good old-fashioned radio voice? Man, I'd, we'd be oh, the yeah. best-sounding anime, pro- anime podcast. Do you ever talk to people and you're just like, how do you make it through the day talking like that with that voice? Do you know what I mean? I know. Doesn't it hurt? Like, there's some people just like, yeah. I like to go out and eat dirt. And <laughs> I don't know. Well, I, listen to like Alex Jones talk. Yeah. yeah like, like his I'm, voice is like gravel. It literally sounds like he's gargling at all times. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. But anyway, moral of the story, yes, don't yes. use fabric softener on your towels or yes. synthetic clothing because they won't work anymore. Yes. The moral no, of the story. I knew about the towels thing. Because yeah. then your towels don't absorb moisture. Yeah. It wicks the moisture away. Yeah, you want... And same thing with cotton. You want the cotton to be, it wicks the moisture away and then it evaporates. But if it can't get through the material, no wickage. You know what I'm saying, guys? I hear, I, I get it. I get it. We here at Annie Pro are pro wickage. And since I'm talking about wickage, Jay, what's on your mind? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> cool. Okay. What's on your uh, mind? No, 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 That's my move. That's my move when I can't think of anything. Jay just, we, we like forced Jay to record immediately after he got off work and his manager let him out early. So that's pretty hype. Very nice. Yeah, shout out to my manager who was actually really cool and was like, do you want to go home early so you can record? And I was like, yeah, 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 I do. And they're like, well, it's your lucky day, Jay, because you're fired. Never come back. Yeah, I go in tomorrow. They're like, you're not supposed to be here. Yeah. 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 We took you what off the are schedule. You doing yeah. here? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah no, it was it was definitely really cool, especially because like today was a pretty stressful day when it came to the podcast. We ran into like a couple issues. Yeah. Yeah. Minor yeah. things. 
Yeah, it was a little issue. It yeah. was a little issue. Listen, we've dealt with far worse than this, that's for <laughs> yes. sure. Yes, yes. I accidentally added 13 minutes of basically <laughs> silent video onto the YouTube video today. Well, that was on because, purpose. But yeah, it was, that was, yeah, that yeah. was so that our audience can reflect on the... <laughs> On the, the monstrous m- things they've done. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Time for reflection. <laughs> but luckily, that's an easy one to fix. So that's you should have uh, what what you should have done was put in like remember that one anime where it ends on like just like scenic imagery of like lakes and mountains and stuff like that. Do you know which one I'm talking about? No. No. I'll have to send you guys the clip. It the was end some of Attack anime on Titan final no, season. No, it, it was some anime where they like had to censor out the violence or something like that. So they just. Like, instead of airing a censored version of it, they just aired, like, a bunch of, like, nature scenery. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> this sounds <laughs> very <laughs> familiar. I can't remember what it is, that. though. Yeah. <laughs> it was, I don't know. It was some scene where uh, this girlfriend stabs her boyfriend. Yeah, that sounds very familiar. Yeah, I don't know. If, you, don't if know you're it. listening to this and yelling it out loud, saying this is what it is, just please yeah. message one of us because it's going to bug us. We don't know what Instead it is. Instead of yeah. yelling so no one can hear you, but your neighbors are just like, what are they yelling about? Why don't you like type it into your computer so we can hear what you're yelling at your screen? Yeah. Oh. Why don't you type it into your phone or computer on our Discord? Oh yeah, the link oh, is shit. in our description or at linkter.e e. E. slash e. Annie Pod. Pretty That's cool. Right. Yeah. yeah. So what next, boys? Oh yeah, Cole, what's on your mind? <laughs> yeah, I'm just sitting here <laughs> yeah, waiting yeah, to yeah. share what's on my mind. <laughs> We're all just I'm, sitting I'm, here like, mm, okay. This is, sh- this is sharing hour, Jay. It I is? know you don't care. I know you don't care about what's on my mind. No, I do. Oh. That's why I asked. I care. Okay. We we touched on it a little bit because I forgot last week, but I've been, I started watching Laid Back Camp. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, yes. And honestly, I'm obsessed. It's good. It's not surprising. It's incredibly good. Michael, you'll hate it. Will I? <laughs> well, you always say, like, I don't like shows that don't have, like, a plot. Yeah. I just it's get not, bored of them. That's all. There's not really a plot in this. But it, I, it's different because it's the point of it is to kind of just, like, let it wash over you, I think. Like, it is very, like... It's very laid back. The vibes are real in this show. Like, the vibes... It really is a vibey show. Like, you just sit there and you watch these people, like, make food and drink tea. And it's just... Uh, so if you're sitting uh, there with very red eyes, would you enjoy this show? Oh, I'd love it. I don't do that, though, Jay. I don't I either. Don't do that. I don't either. But, like, I feel like that when you said vibe, that's the, th- that's the like, first thing that came to my mind. Wait. I think, I think it would be a good show to watch while you are partaking in the devil's lettuce. Oh, gotcha. that's what you guys are talking about. I thought you were talking yeah. about ho- opening your eyes underwater in a chlorinated <laughs> pool. <laughs> I was wondering how your eyes got red. Oh no, no, no! It's from Canada, which is legal where we are. Just yeah. as a, uh, uh, a just caveat. to uh, yeah, just to address that we're yeah. not breaking any laws. No, just to yeah. uh, address the elephant in the room. We, yeah, uh, that's why Jay has like a bong right now and a huge blunt hanging out of his mouth. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> while I am currently it's smoking legal. a pipe. Yeah. Yeah, big yes, corn cob yes. one with like a like a Gandalf <laughs> yeah. looking pipe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jay basically looks like that uh, stock stock <laughs> image of Homer Simpson that they use on the in the news that one episode. Michael, have to send it to you because you got to yeah, put it in. Uh, the, yeah. <laughs> you got to put it in the. Please send it video. to me. Yeah, it's 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 good. Uh, speaking of what's good, how about we get into our uh, quick hitter discussion here, boys? Sure. Yeah, let's do that. And after much deliberation. The three of us decided that we would uh, discuss uh, the cringiest moments in anime, the moments in animes that we've watched that make us go, Ew. 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 Oh. Well, it can be good shows, it can be bad shows, everything in between. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll start off by saying, like, I think I'm just old because I had a hard time even coming up. I don't feel like I truly, like know what cringe is or maybe i'm just too lost in the sauce on the cringe and like i, I don't Mike, even... let me tell you let me tell you what cringe is tell i want me. you to i want you to sit there okay. look down looking down yeah that what you're oh. wearing right now this is oh, awesome. no i'm this sorry awesome. i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm mistaken i thought it was cringe but then i saw behind your mic and Mike, it is actually kind Mike, of an awesome you show. know that you know when you're watching something and you feel like very very like awkward no 
No. Michael doesn't have emotions like us humans. Oh. Yeah, like no, you. Remember. Like you, Jay, and me. <laughs> Jay, my fellow human. Yeah, <laughs> says the robot to the alien. <laughs> <laughs> and Cole, my shirt, which is a features a samurai holding a sword with a dragon behind him. How is that possibly cringe? It has it's a not, collar I, I, on it. I apologize. It's a satiny material. How is this? This is the coolest shirt I own. I sincerely apologize to you, my friend, Mike. Yeah. But what and, is cringe? Uh, well, I'll start off by saying uh, my number one cringe moment. You know what? I'm going to start with a show that maybe isn't the best show uh, because my second one is actually a good show that I enjoy. Uh, but my first one is uh, the Sword Art Online first OVA. I know, Jay, you've probably seen this. Oh, is this the one where they're at the pool? This is the one where they're at the pool. Okay. Jay feigns like he hasn't watched this 700 oh, is this, times. Is this the one where <laughs> all of the girls go to the pool and talk about how big their boobs are? Is and that actually also about Kirito? Yeah. Yeah. And also how much they all love Kirito? Yeah. yeah. That's the whole it's, episode. It is uh, one of those shows I was watching. I had just uh, finished the first season of SAO and I'm like, okay, I'll watch the OVA. So is this pretty early on in your anime career then? Because SAO is usually pretty early on. Fairly early on. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'm sitting there watching, got it on the TV, and I'm just like, okay, nobody's home. It's all, it's all chill. Yeah, you're good. It's all good. Mom's not walking in. Nope, mom's not walking in. So I'm sitting there, and Mike, you remember in my house, the way, or my old house, where there's my living room, mm -hmm. and then my TV was on the, the wall across from the couch. Yep. And then to the left of me is the kitchen with that window right there. Yep, yep. So if you're walking into the house, walking up to the door, you can see into the window and see the TV. Yep. Well, I'm sitting there watching and who... <laughs> <laughs> One of my friends just randomly shows up and oh, I'm no. just so embarrassed. You know, I'm trying to play it off cool and everything and they don't say anything because they're like, what the hell? Like, it's... <laughs> <laughs> and like these are the scenes where they're like at the pool, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's like yeah. jiggly bits happening. Oh, there's jiggly bits. Nice. And this is yeah. like when you're just getting into anime, right? So they don't know that you're a weeb. So they're like, "What? What are you I'd watching?" I would yeah. say watching the non like full on porn version of anime, like a like the at incredibly fan servicey anime on mm -hmm. the big screen in the living room <laughs> in daylight. <laughs> that's like particularly embarrassing to get caught you know yeah, what i mean yeah, yeah. you might as well and, got caught watching something worse and you know like i was early enough in in my weebdom where it's like i can't really like be like listen every anime has moments like this yes, like yeah. you know i couldn't really defend myself yeah yeah it was uh it's so, cringe bro so it's just like look i know i'm watching something dumb we can just like let's just acknowledge it and move on <laughs> that's i think what do you do now but if i had to guess Old Cole probably would have been so shameful, like so oh, yeah. shamed by this moment that he just like paused it and then didn't say anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I just paused it and just just didn't even pretended, address it. Yeah, just completely <laughs> pretended you were in a completely different universe for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And that friend was uh, our old friend Nug Deep from the Discord. Oh, submitted our <laughs> who is the hottest waifu question a couple weeks ago. That's yes. why he asked that question. Yes, he, he was hoping one of us would answer one of those should have already known. babes from SAO. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to piggyback uh, onto your thing just quickly here. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I find beach slash pool episodes tend to be kind of cringe just in general. Just because, like, usually they don't really serve much other than exactly what you just described. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're usually the most slice-of-life moment in a slice-of-life anime. Mm -hmm. Or are... in a totally not slice-of-life anime. And it's just like, meant to break up the tension for no reason. Like, well, uh... we know why. Like yeah. in Classroom of the Elite? Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of is Classroom yeah. of the Elite. Or, uh, yeah, it's, it's just a quick one. I just want to throw that out there. Well, one of, my, of one of my rare animes that I talk about, like one of the shows that I rarely ever talk about, does actually have like a good beach episode that like... Toradora? Is a whole, yeah. yeah. But like the stuff that happens at the beach is pretty important to yeah. the plot. Same that's, thing with like Fruits Basket, right? Yeah, that's a beach episode done well because it's not really about the beach. Yeah. 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 Uh, Jay, you go ahead. Tell us what makes you cringe. So um, I think that so when I was thinking about moments, I couldn't really think of like specific moments that made me cringe, but more just like 
things that happen in anime that make me cringe. And one of the things mm-hmm. that I thought of was um, when the protagonist falls onto one of the girls and his arm is in the exact place uh, to be able to grab their yeah. uh, their jiggly bits. Their jiggly yeah. bits. Classic. That's a classic trope. It's yeah, it's a classic a- trope, but like it's so dumb and like what like I get that it's for fan service, but like you can do so many other things to 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 accomplish that. Well, and, and the thing that always happens with that is they always like they'll fall and then be like, oh, oh, what just happened? And then it'll cut to their hand, make yeah. some z- zany noise, and it'll just hold on that for like a second. Yeah. Or like, like and then when, he'll squeeze. Like, yeah, he's like, what am I touching? <laughs> What's this? Yeah. Or like they did it in SAO, actually. And like, literally, um, she's on top of him and he's like, what is this? Squeeze, squeeze squishy squeeze again <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. and That's then the she finally it's, it's, reacts it's it's never just like an accidental grab it always like is oh what has happened and then it zooms in on the hand and it's like squish squ- there's like multiple squishes and yeah then, then like they react yeah, and then they're like hmm what's this and then the girl loses it yeah yeah like, rightfully you know, so yeah you know instantly and then the, the other thing that's kind of annoying about that trope too is like it always winds up with the the tsundere kicking him through a wall or a door or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he deserves it. He deserves it, but like, you know what's coming. You know what? Yeah. I, I think in real life, I think if you fell on someone and accidentally grabbed their boob, like in a re- le- like a legitimate accidental fall and didn't do that squish squish, I don't think they'd really say it. I don't think they'd, they'd even address it, to be honest with you. Yeah. Because it's obviously an accident. Because yeah. we yeah. live in a real world. Yeah, it's yeah. the squish, squish. The squish, squish is yeah. the problem. Yeah, yeah no, it's where... absolutely the squish, squish. <laughs> That's the problem. No, I just squishing. got delivered a <laughs> bowl full of delicious uh, taiyaki from my Ooh. wife Shazena Ooh. from the Discord. Ah. I'm gonna eat those in the podcast and drive cold nuts. Are you gonna share them with the podcast? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna yeah, share them the, with the rest of the class. <clears throat> yeah, the rest of the class gets to listen to my chewing noises. Ugh. Well, Michael, uh, while you're chewing, why don't you tell us about your uh, yeah, Mike, w- uh, cringy moments? All right, uh, the first one I have here, I honestly struggle to come up with this because, like, I just I don't get embarrassed super easily so like it's kind of hard for me to know what cringe is which is probably not a good thing because that means i'm probably doing cringe things and just not caring what is cringe i am i called cole a robot but i'm a real robot My, uh, we're all robots yeah we're all robots we're actually uh <laughs> a spoiler alert for everybody uh at the end of this uh podcast we're all going to reveal that we're actually of extremely advanced artificial intelligence yeah this is just ai generated art <laughs> These are just AI-generated voices giving you entertainment. (laughs) I Mm. hope not, because they'd be way better than this. Uh, (laughs) My actual cringe thing is just (laughs) Boruto as a whole. Everything about it is cringe. Have you guys? Do you guys know anything about Boruto? I watched. What's the extent of knowledge? The first couple episodes of Boruto got really bored because at the time I hadn't seen or read Naruto, so I was like, I don't know what I'm. I don't know what I'm getting into. And that is a bizarre it. way to approach Boruto. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, what's this? The sequel to Naruto? Hmm. <laughs> because I was told when I first approached Boruto uh, that I didn't need to know Naruto to g- get or like Boruto. I mean, that's technically true. It's just, th- it does useless on its own. Is like, yeah. If you don't know who Naruto in the whole story, well, it's pretty Boruto well is useless in general. <laughs> yes. So, like, all the characters in Boruto are not very interesting. Uh, Boruto is like cringy in the way that he he's like oh I hate my dad he's he's so mean to me he never pays attention to me and stuff like that and it's just like grow uh, up shut up. kid yeah, shut, up. shut up well and it's it's the comparison between like Boruto just complaining about oh, my life is so hard and my dad blah. meanwhile his dad's like meanwhile the Naruto mayor. is like yeah, yeah he's Naruto the whole- <laughs> Naruto grew up rough yeah rough he yeah. didn't, his parents were dead. Everyone yeah. hated him. He was possessed he didn't know by why. a demon. <laughs> yeah, it's just the like, comparison between the two. My dad doesn't pay enough attention to me. Oh, yes. uh, <laughs> shut up! Yeah. Shut up! Yeah, it's uh, just like when you compare the two. It's like, oh my god, this is like the stakes are so much lower. <laughs> like, who cares? I, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And then the other thing that I is super cringe about it too is what they did to my boy, my beloved characters, Naruto, and just everybody looks horrible in it, except for yeah. like. I, Honestly, like, even the newer people look bad, but, like, Naruto yeah, looks look lame. Goofy. Sasuke yeah. looks super lame in the in Boruto. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they just good. look... Everybody just looks goofy. 
Even yeah. after Kishimoto took over the manga, I hear it hasn't really gotten that much better. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, yeah. some when do you guys talk about your next cringe moment? Cool. Well, I'll go. Oh, I'll talk Star. about my Yeah. You guys know of the show Overlord? I've heard of that show program. When when you watch Overlord, do you think that there's going to be like a random musical moment in it? Oh, like all the time. Of course. Michael, what do you what do you think? <laughs> no, I've never never thought that. Mm, thank you. Thank you for eating while we're recording. I really, I really love it. I, I, mute, I muted myself. <laughs> and then you, you ruined me by asking me a question mid-bite. No, there was a moment in the most recent season of Overlord where, like, I, I don't know how else to describe it. It just breaks she down ha- to, into a song. It's very she has, Disney. Very yeah, she has a the Disney, Disney uh, princess singing moment. And it's... It's just weird. It's just very strange. It's bizarre. It's bizarre, especially in Overlord. Like, it, it's just tonally, like, off-putting. I'm very curious. Which maybe is intentional. I'm very curious if it's something that they took from the novel and, like... or no, if, there's if, no or if song just, in the novel, Jay. Well, like, they sometimes write lyrics for music and then they, like, just say it's a song. Because, like, obviously there's no music yeah. in, in something you it's read. Like, right. It's like when okay. you're reading The Hobbit, right? There's a bunch of songs and you yeah. just skip yeah. over them. There's no, there's no song in the novel. I looked. You I looked. sent, you sent the clip of this it. one too, and like, I was a little bit like honestly flabbergasted by it. I'm like, I don't know who this character is. I don't know why she's singing. I don't know why she's singing to herself. I don't know why they put so much effort into the animation. Yeah, that's the other I don't, thing. I don't know like what's going on here. It's like kind of like it's kind very, of good. Yeah, it's very well animated and everything. It's just. Listen, singing in general, like when we did uh, that movie review with John. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my uh, internet froze. (laughs) It did. Yeah, we were just kind of waiting for it to clear up. Someone must be using your microwave. That microwave needs to be considered a podcast villain. Yeah, I think so. We'll create a Discord account so we can make it a villain in in our Discord server. Um, Yeah, when we did uh, Sing a Bit of Harmony with John, Mm -hmm. the first time they started singing, I'm like... Uh, I can't my my brain my my synapses started firing in a not very enjoyable matter which I get used to it just when there's a scene in an anime that I like that just all of a sudden comes at me with singing oh I don't like that I don't like that at all I think I think you just cringe more to just musicals actually because like yeah. it seems like something that just isn't up your alley at all no it's not not at all yeah yeah, yeah. I think musicals are just cringe to you which is fair yeah yeah, I like yeah. a I like a good old song and dance. Yeah, I think Sing the idea of harmony of just was like, good because that was there was like a reason for it, mm-hmm. right? Like it was a, it was yeah. intentional why she was singing, and the fact that mm-hmm. it was cringe was the point. This mm-hmm. one was just an interesting choice. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> was it like fitting for the character or anything? No. Okay, oh <laughs> that, that's pretty weird. No, it really no. came out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Joseph, uh, why don't you tell us what's what, yes. Uh, what you're what you're thinking here? My second one um, goes all the way back to the '90s. Uh, Pokemon uh, Ash, when he won his first badge, the reason he won it was because Brock just gave it to him because he was kind and didn't <laughs> want to beat him with the sprinklers. That like happens in like every of Ash's battles. So honestly, he does that. Th- it happens for Brock and Misty, and then Lieutenant yeah. Surge is his first like actual victory. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I almost Listen. put this moment actually as one of my cringe moments because as someone who knows Pokemon, mm-hmm. when he uses Pikachu to kill his Onyx yeah, and then by like, using its horn like a lightning rod, and I'm like, that makes no sense. And then like um like the whole episode is him training his Pikachu to have better electric power when like it doesn't matter. Ground uh, is immune to electric. What, but not like, if the sprinklers turn on. Not if the sprinklers turn on. That doesn't even no. It do, that's not it how it works. Sense. It doesn't make sense. It that's doesn't not how make anything sense. works. But then, but, but then he's just like, I appreciate your your kindness to not attack my onyx. Here's my badge. What? Jay. Jay. Well, yes. Can I actually offer you and I a, a little bit of an explanation here? Thinking yeah. about it a little more. Yeah. Brock is a grown man. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ash is a ten year old boy. Okay. Yeah. I can I can see why the grown man was being nice to the ten year old boy who was trying really hard. I, now that I think about it a little bit, yeah. But then yeah. he leaves to go on a journey with said ten year old boy. 
Yeah, because he's a grown man and he's like, I can't let this child go off on his own. So what about all the other 10-year-old boys that challenged him before Ash? Well, they Uh, knew what they were doing. They actually beat him. And then the Ash comes in. He's like, her to der. I'm going to use my lightning on your ground. And then he's like, oh, I need to help this kid. (laughs) Yeah, this kid needs assistance. (laughs) Yeah, but that's still a bit cringe because... No, I'm... Oh, no. It's like devil's advocate. It is definitely. Listen, listen. It's all a ruse from Brock. He did not want to take care of his siblings anymore. So he's like, I'm going to give this... I'm going to give this kid the badge. And then and I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna go with them. And then I'm, I'm just, just gonna, gonna go tag with them. along. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And these and that, these kids, they're on their own now. As uh, Michael Jordan said, <laughs> "F them kids." <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite sayings. Speaking yeah. of uh, <laughs> "F them kids," Mike, what's your next cringe Ooh, moment? Oh, nice one. <laughs> uh, when lollies get sexualized, I always cringe real hard. Yeah. Uh, there's two that come to mind off the top of my dome here. Mm-hmm. The first one being uh, in the very like I think it's the very first scene of No Game No Life when it's introducing the characters. It shows the brother. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, yeah, he's 16, 17, whatever. And then it shows the sister and it's like gr- a gratuitous panty shot, like very detailed. And yeah. then it says she is 11 years old. And I'm like, what? no, what is this? Yeah, why? <laughs> no. That why do this? Ultra cringe. Ultra cringe in that one. Super yeah. mega giga ultra cringe. Yeah. Yeah, Giga yeah. Chad cringe for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, another example of this too is like in Sorted Online, our Annie Pro patented favorite anime. Yeah, that's yep. the that's yep. the best anime of all time. Yeah, yeah, according to us collectively. Yeah, yeah. Why haven't we? I just realized this. We need to do a review of it. Actually, thinking about it. But anyway, let's continue. Uh, Yui calling Kirito daddy is just something I don't like. I I, I don't, don't know. know. I she, cringe when I hear it. She thinks that he's his her dad. Like yeah. I don't think that that's like, a sexual thing. Like, is is Yui calling Asuna mommy sexual? No, because when it came out, mommy listen, wasn't Mike, a sexual this, thing. Listen, Mike, this says more about you. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> no, I, I I I don't like Yui for other reasons. Yeah, she's just annoying. But she, she's, she's annoying, annoying. and she also cringe. ruins the whole point of Sao that made it interesting. But. Yeah. That too. Her calling, Actually, her, yeah. Her calling Kirito daddy is I just think that she sees him as literally her, her daddy. dad. Yeah. Oh no, that's Liter- literally. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, I see. You're saying like from the reader's point of view her calling him daddy is cringe? I I think like just the way they do it in the show is kind of cringe. And then okay. Still on the topic of sort online, Kirito just as a whole is pretty cringe. Yeah. Well, he's yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Like just everything he does. I mean, like he he Most, calls himself a beater for goodness sake. Yeah, that that scene honestly when he's like a beater. I like it. The- yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Remember when we went and saw the movie and he called himself a beater and the whole crowd just lost their yeah. mind? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, oh, it's God. ridiculous. God that was damn. Probably like SAO the is best, next level. That was probably like the best viewing experience I've ever been in for a movie. Yeah. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend seeing Sword Art Online in theaters with mm-hmm. other weebs. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's terrific. Do um, you other weebs have anything else to say? With, uh, I don't have segment? anything, but I think I think Jay has one more. So I have one more, and it's one about coal, because I know this grinds coal's gears. Yes. Yeah, because when you sent your list, you said coal and then this other thing, too. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. Um, so am so, I cringy, or no, is no, no, this no, 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 you, f- you find this cringy. And I, I thought do. we'd just talk about this for a bit. And that's yeah. um, a- anime music that are covered in English. Yeah, yeah. I mm. really I really dislike it. Yeah. I think it's just, is it just anime music or is it just any music that's translated to English? Like that Yo Asabi song that I sent earlier where no, she redid I mean, it in English. Or I mean, no, no, it's it's the anime covers that are done by different people in English. If the, yeah, if the band itself does it, like oh, Red Wimps do it. Yeah. Oh. Rad Wimps oh. re-recorded all the music for uh Rad Wimps did it. Um the E D for Case Study of Anitas is in English. And I know you I like know that what you're saying now. I yeah. I copy. But when when there's YouTubers who do English covers and I'm So sorry. when they take when when say like I you and I, we both play instruments. Yes. We record in a cover of Garenge by Lisa. Yeah. And we translate the lyrics to English and then sing them. Yeah. Yes, they're cringe. Do you know yeah. why they're cringe, though? Why, why? it doesn't work? Because, like, why? they translate it, and then they just sing the translated lines, but you have to sing it, like, the proper, the same yeah. way as the original singer. It doesn't work if you just... 
So I know some people like yeah. try and make it work, but like it doesn't rhyme either. Like it, it puts in, it in like uncanny valley territory. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting way to put it. Yeah. Audible uncanny valley. It just mm-hmm. doesn't Yeah. Like you understand I'd rather, what, what I'd rather the not meaning know is. what they're saying. Yeah. Like you understand what the meaning is, but like as a song it doesn't work as well yeah like yeah. the 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 harm the melody and harmonies and stuff are and like the the what's the word i'm looking for like the syncopation of like the voice and the beats and stuff is all wrong mm-hmm. and, it doesn't, and like yeah. uh i actually watched a video on this recently where they talked about how like uh when they translate it so like in the in the original japanese it'll be like arigato and then when they mm-hmm. trans- translate it to english they'll translate it to like hello there but when you listen ga in arigato is it said like that right so to sing that in english you'd have to say hello you know what i yeah. mean yeah mm-hmm. yeah the and the uh, work. and uh, the inflection points are different on different words in japanese and in english yeah. it's just yeah the emphasis of... is on the wrong syllable Woo. yeah Cringe. yes yeah it, it's cringe. yeah truly truly jay you have chosen my most cringe thing <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, I knew. Yeah. I knew when you brought that up that uh, we should probably talk about it because it's something you'd bring up a lot. Yeah, I'm yeah. surprised actually you thought of it and Cole didn't. Actually, thinking back, <laughs> yeah, kind of. We yeah, know more about each bit. other than we know about ourselves. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Let's we'll yeah. say we go into uh, mailbag, sack of mail. Okay. Yeah, let's dive in Scrooge McDuck style. Let's go. Woo! It's time for the mailbag. Jay literally dove off his chair. That was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I'm, such a, I'm such a silly oh, goose. Oh, Mike, you really had me going there. <laughs> I'm such a silly goose. Uh, anyway, uh, Opie Master Ash from our Discord wants to know, what's a show you want more people to talk about? Mm. 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 Well, when we got this question, I uh, immediately said, oh, perfect. Another opportunity for me to talk about March Comes in Like a Lion. And then Michael was like, that's all you ever talk about. (laughs) Why don't you say a different show? So you know what? I will say a different show, specifically this season. I want everyone to watch Bochi the Rock. Everyone. It's so effing good. (gasps) Did you see that eye roll by Jay? (laughs) What? Oh, it looked like you rolled your eyes super hard there. No. What? Oh, I was about to say, I'm going to take credit for this because when I first watched uh, the first episode, I said, Cole's going to love this show. I bet everything Cole's going to love this show. Mm-hmm. And now Cole you loves it. You know Another one would be uh, Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex. Uh, everybody talks about Ghost in the Shell, but Standalone Complex is genuinely possibly better than Ghost in the Shell. I think Mike even like might like Standalone Complex. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> <laughs> Hey Mike, what yes. you uh, what you in there? <laughs> yeah, what you in there, buddy? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so Mike, what's uh, what's a show you want? No, more no, to talk no, about? no. Let's hate, let's show him guys. mercy. <laughs> let's show him mercy, Jay. Jay, what's a show you wish more people would talk about? Okay, um, a show I think more people should talk about. Um, I think I'm gonna say Baby Steps here. I hear a oh, lot of people oh, talk about Haikyuu. A lot of people talk about um kuroko's basketball or like slam dunk but like the amount of people that talk about baby steps is nowhere near enough and that show is so hype i really want to watch like, baby steps it's so I feel good like i should too because like jay you talk about this show so much it's so good like it's probably one of my favorite sports anime when we were doing the the segment a couple of weeks ago actually where we were trying to find uh uh like basically tell people to watch shows that they dropped i was looking through your mm-hmm. annie list and yeah you have it rated like a nine out of ten it's really good i the one thing i'm upset about is the manga isn't localized and it was axed so like the the mangaka didn't get to tell the full story that they want to tell oh that sucks so yeah it does suck a little bit but um the anime is super good and uh the op slaps so more people go watch it. It's not available anywhere, but you can find it somewhere probably. <laughs> I'm I'm sure they're <laughs> able to find it somehow. Mike, what's a show why. you want more people to talk about? That that uh, made me laugh. <laughs> good, good. I'm glad I entertained yeah. you. I uh, I think for me it's just kind of I can't think of any shows right off the top of my head that I want more people to watch. Uh but just old anime in general. I feel like people put a lot of emphasis into watching, like, new stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And anything over, like, five to ten years old just doesn't get talked about at all. 
But like, go back and watch some of the classics. Go watch Oren High School Host Club. Go watch uh, Code Geass. Go watch Death Note. Well, I mean, everyone's watching those, but you know what I mean? Like, I, I watched a show called, uh, oh, what's it called? I guess this could be my show. Uh, Hibane Renme. It's like a show, it's from 2004 or something, and it's done by Sony, and it's really good. Like, you can go back and find these shows that are, like, at the time fell through the radar because the internet wasn't a thing, and there was no hype machine back then and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's all available in places, as Jay said. You can easily find all these old shows, and you just kind of, I don't know, try yeah. try something new. Try something different that uh, not everyone's doing. Step outside the yeah. grain. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> go watch some, path. like, random, go watch some random OVA from like yeah. the 90s you know like you know you don't go gotta watch, like commit to a whole show go watch, go watch like yeah. the worst sh rated show on my anime list do it why not maybe sure. you'll like yeah. it yeah maybe uh, it's good maybe watch it like actually be really good and people are just trolling i don't know like you, you expand your horizons right you never yeah. you never know what you don't know so yeah that's my that's what i'll say i'll just say mm -hmm. go try new things that you wouldn't watch in normally and yes. with that i think we have a question we have a before we head on to have a break. question. I, yeah, I'll I can ask hear the... this question. Yeah. Okay. I'll ask the question this week. Uh, what's your cringiest anime moment? You, the oh, listener, what do you think is super cringy? Please tell us in tell the comments us. below. Yes. Tell and us. Why is it us? Why and why is, the last is it 30 minutes? The Anime Protagonist Podcast. And I think it's time for a break. Please. I think okay. it's time for a break. When we come back from break, we will uh, have a tournament. So uh, stay tuned for that. And, um... Welcome back to the Anime Protagonist it's in my Podcast. What? It's in my programming. <laughs> Welcome back to the. <laughs> Let's stop interrupting, Jay. Can we? Uh, can we? Can we please do my intro, please? No. Oh. Do your intro. Do Welcome your back intro. to. Do it. <laughs> stop it! Re re record your intro, please. <laughs> Commands intro. Okay, <laughs> I'm here with two robots. Begin recording. <laughs> Welcome back to the Anime Protagonist Podcast. We are going to do our uh, Uber driver tournament today. And um, I have two robotic co-hosts with me that are uh, interrupting me every single time I try Roger. to do this. So we're just going to we are go straight into our discussion tournament kind of thing. It, you know what it's like. We do the typical, we're doing the typical name out of a hat kind of thing. And we're going to find you the best anime Uber driver to help you get to the anime convention from the airport. Oh, yeah, I nice like twist. It. We didn't talk about that I beforehand, like, but I like it, Jake. I like that little yeah, backstory. So, That's very yeah, clever. Yeah. We're, we're, yeah, very clever. we're coming from the airport, going to the convention, and we got a lineup of 15 Uber drivers here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, who are we going with? Michael, give us our first two options. With? The first two options, and we're going to keep them a secret this time. The element of surprise is key here. Number mm -hmm. 10. Jiraiya Sensei from Naruto is your first. Okay, you look out, okay. you, you come out of the airport, you look out into the, the parking, the little area where all the Uber drivers are waiting, the taxis and stuff. You see Jiraiya behind the wheel. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And then right next to Jiraiya in another car, you see number nine, my other nomination, Mr. Mime behind the wheel. <laughs> 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 and not just any Mr. Mime, but Ash's dad, Mr. Mime. <laughs> <laughs> Ash's dad. Yeah, you know how sometimes Ash's like you, father. You know how sometimes I don't know if this is true everywhere, but like sometimes you see a cab and they'll have like a friend in the front with them. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say Ash's mom is in there too, but no, I've changed my mind. I don't want to sway your vote. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So deliberate between my two mm. characters. Well, mm -hmm. Jiraiya Sensei, I feel like it feels a little more unreliable to me. Yeah, for some reason, he's well, more of a hermit. You know? Yeah. There's that, and here's the thing. Mr. Mime does all the cleaning, all the cooking, all the everything. Mr. Mime is there for you. Yep. It's right? true. 
Yeah, you hop in that car, it's spotless. You it's hop old. in Jiraiya Sensei's car. There's like a thing's... ton of beer cans in there. It's sticky. It's yeah. sticky. Yeah. It's but a sticky car. Here's, it's here's a sticky the 1987 Mercedes Benz. I, I put Jiraiya in here. It for sure is like an old car too, for mm-hmm, sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's mm-hmm. a nice old car, but it's in rough shape. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I see Jiraiya being super fun to talk to. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. he'd be like a good conversationalist cab <laughs> driver here or uber driver wait we're not sponsored by uber rideshare <laughs> driver yeah 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 Suck it, uber uh whereas mr mime and i think i'm talking myself into mr mime now because of what i've just thought of is going to be si- either silent or just say mr mime the entire time right mm-hmm. here's yeah. my counter to that when you're in a taxi or something, would you rather be in a conversation with someone you don't know or just like mind your own business and be on your phone? And, and I could go that? either way. I could go either way on this. I could go either way. Um, my my important thing, though, is honestly the cleanse cleanliness of the car. I feel uh, like uh, my vote's yeah. got to go for Mr. Mime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want to feel like I'm getting out of it and like I'm going to have like stuff stuck to my shoe yeah, yeah. you're gonna get bed yeah. bugs from this taxi drive that mm-hmm. i think i'm gonna go mr mime as well well since my vote yeah. doesn't count i'm not even gonna say <laughs> no, no no you gotta say it <laughs> fine i vote also mr mime you guys brought up good points i didn't even think about jariah but yeah okay mr mime goes back into the hat and then i'd pull out the next two set of numbers and we've got number four Kobeni's car nominated by Jay, which you're going to need to like, this is just literally just the car sitting there. It, yeah, it's just a car. No Kobeni with it. No, just a car. Okay. okay that's an interesting choice by okay. Jay there. Uh, and we got number two, Lloyd Forger, also nominated by Jay. Ooh, two of mine. Okay. Jay, I feel like this one's, this, uh, I feel like there's an easy answer here. Yeah. yeah. It's Kobeni's the car. car. <laughs> yeah. It's the car. I mean, okay, here's my, here, here's the reason why I nominated the car. Would you rather have someone drive you there and potentially annoy you with the, with what they're telling you or like just rely on yourself to drive yourself there? So in this scenario, I'm just stealing a car? Yeah. I mean, Power did it. So obviously it's very easy to steal a car, especially Kobeni's. This is where I feel your knowledge or lack of knowledge on Chainsaw Man comes into play. When Chip Power steals the car, it might not go the way you think. Yeah. But what I'm saying mm-hmm. is that like because she was able to steal the car. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, like, it's very easy to be able to steal the car. Here's my argument against Jay's proposition. You're going to a city that you don't know. You don't know how to get around. It's true. Lloyd Forger? He knows how to get around. He knows how to get around. It's true. Yeah. He knows where he's going. He's studied the map. He knows how to get from the airport to the convention center. No problem. And you know what? He's probably not even going to talk to you. Or maybe maybe you want to talk to him, and then he'll assume that persona. Yeah, because he's a master of disguise. Yeah, he's he's a master of like. Here's taking... another thing. Oh, he might like you might not even know that it's Lloyd Forger when he pulls up. You yeah, you probably don't because Lloyd fine. Forger's not a real person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that one got cold. Yeah, I don't know why that got cold. <laughs> That's a very good point. Yeah. He's not a real person. Yeah, I, we don't know his actual. <laughs> I name. guess, I guess that's the end of this conversation. Oh no, I know. I meant like Lloyd is a person. Wait a second. Yeah, none of these people are real. <laughs> I don't know. Mister Mime's pretty real, man. If you know what I mean. Yeah, Mister Mime. Yeah, is he's Mister Mime keeps it real. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, he's a G. <laughs> he's a G. <laughs> you heard it here first, Mister Mime, certified G. Uh, yeah. I think really what it comes down to for me on this one is what Cole said about Kobeni's car. While it is a great car, maybe even mm-hmm. best character in the show, we'll see. Potentially. Has yet to we'll make an appearance, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I think I'd rather, if I'm coming from an airport to the convention in a city I don't know, and on top of that too, I'm dealing with con traffic, which is you're paying for parking, you're trying to navigate a parking lot, you're trying to navigate a downtown metropolitan yeah, area. Yeah, but it's not your car, so, like, you're not the one getting ticketed for it. But you still have to get there. You still have to get there. That's the worst part, is the, the driving sucks. Like, you're still going to be driving. in the traffic regardless of whether someone's driving you or not, though. But driving in traffic like that is stressful, right? And then, whereas, if I get Lloyd, I'm not stressing at all. I got this charming yeah. man telling me where to go. He's... Well, I mean, I'm telling him where to go. You know what I mean? Like, we're, we're... Throw your feet up. Yeah. 
put kick your seat back, have a nap. Yeah. Wake up. You're there. Eat some taiyaki while your friends don't disturb you. I'm going yeah. Lloyd. I'm going Lloyd. Oh, Jay, you have a... Okay, I won't lock my vote in. No, no, no. no. You, I, I, this wasn't something that uh, I, I was going to say to sway you, but I, I was just going to say the only thing I had to do was sway you to pick Kobeni's car, which I couldn't do because I couldn't pick Kobeni's car either way because I don't drive. So I was that's always going point. Lloyd. Mm. Yeah, that's that's a good point. You did nominate that's, one that that's you a could very not good point, choose. Well, I mean, yeah. you, you could, do not you could drive. learn to drive. <laughs> that yeah. is true. Yeah. So Kobeni's car, bye bye. Benny's Lloyd car is Forger, out. Hello. Hello there. Hello. All right. Hello there. Back in the hat. Hello there. Next up, we got number one. Jay, <laughs> who's the number one pick? Joey Wheeler from Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Joey Wheeler. <laughs> Joey Wheeler. Going up against number 11, Subaru Natsuki, nominated by Cole. Oh, I feel like this is going to be a good matchup. Okay. I feel like this is a good one. Two, yeah. two just solid dudes, you I, know? Yeah. I think I need you guys to, since it's yours... Pitch me. Jay, tell me why Joey Wheeler is a good cab driver. Okay, Joey Wheeler, he's like a very good bud. Like he, he's he got the very good buddy energy. So he's going to be, a, yeah. be a good person to be in the car with. Um, He's got like that Brooklyn kind of deal going on. So like, you know, that if he's going <laughs> to, if he gets into like a traffic jam or a problem, he's going to, he's going to get through that problem. No, no questions asked. That's true. Um. And, you know, he's also got um, a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh cards that he will definitely show you and you can definitely look at. While he's driving? Well, I mean, it's in the glove compartment, so you can just open it up and take a look. And just hands it back yeah. to you. Yeah. Check this out. It's a, it's a red-eyed take black a dragon. Yeah. No, he's going to show you Kunai with chain first. <laughs> Check yeah. it out. It's Celtic Warrior. <laughs> it's pretty cool, huh? Holographic. <laughs> <laughs> Let me right. tell you my special tra- uh, strategy with this one. <laughs> Equip kunai with chain. <laughs> Unstoppable. Unstoppable. As you're like sitting here, you haven't even left the airport. You're like, can you please drive me? I'm going to be late to the car. Can we go now? Yeah, we no, go? I got to tell you about my red eyes black dragon now. <laughs> got to tell you about my Busta Blader. Have you ever considered equipping a metal coat to this red eyes black dragon? <laughs> Jay's dying. <laughs> oh no no, he does. Sorry, Joey Wheeler does have my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card though. What is it? Jinzo. Oh, he, he does, does have, have Jinzo. Jinzo. He does Jinzo's have Jinzo. A good card. Jinzo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Ultimate Cole, card. Tell me about Subaru. Why is he a good taxi driver? Listen, Subaru. He's solid guy, right? Like he's he's gonna get you there. And you know what? You might get into a few like near accidents, like where you feel like you're about to die, but somehow. You end up there. He just knows exactly where to go. I don't know how he does it, but he he seems to be able to just brush with death just barely, and he'll he'll still get us there. It's an interesting you know? way to, to pitch the character, as in, yeah, you're gonna have a brush with death by choosing this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, I'm still uh, still gonna be fine. Yeah, but I don't still know. Gonna like, be okay. That would be pretty scary if I'm having a brush with death every t- every time I take I take him. Uh, I take. His- it's exciting. It's exciting. It's not, it's not scary. It's exciting. Okay. I'm, I'm picking him. I'm putting my head here, like picturing looking at the parking lot too. And when I look at the mm-hmm. car and I see Joey Wheeler. Yeah. That looks like a man who knows what okay, he's what, doing. Yeah. When yeah. I look at the car what and cars, I see. What cars do they got? What, <sighs> Joey, it definitely has just like your standard cab, like New York cab. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Like he's there. driving, he's driving a Ford Crown. He's, yeah. he's yeah. going yeah. through nice, Brooklyn. Nice. Like, you yeah. know. Whereas Subaru, I'm picturing like <sighs> Caprius maybe. I don't know. You're not picturing a Subaru? Yeah, Subaru's got a Subaru. No, I can't. No, yeah. no taxi drivers drive Subarus. It's an oh, Uber. Right, it's an Uber. Uber. It's a taxi. Oh, yeah, he's got an Uber. Uber. Yeah, he's got an Uber. And he's driving that Subaru Impreza. I just, he comes off as nervous to me. And I don't want a nervous taxi driver. If that makes no, sense. No, he's confident. He's a confident guy. I want a big... Big set of hair, too, on my taxi driver. <laughs> yeah. And those yeah. chins. Yeah, let's just get... And those chins. Let's just... Let's just get this vote out of the way. Sorry, Subaru. I'm going Joey. Cole? Jay? Jay? I'm going to go Joey. Oh. Ooh. Well, I guess my vote doesn't matter at all. <laughs> yeah, it anyway, does. It, I'm does. Going, it does, though. I'm going Joey Wheeler oh. as well. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the right He's choice. got the accent. Yeah, the He's accent. He's got, got the, the accent. accent. Exactly. Jay, yeah, Jay exactly. that was actually a great nomination by you just purely for the accent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank mm-hmm. you. That's exactly yeah. what I thought of when I nominated him. 
Yeah. Oh, I like it. Two of Coles going up in our next battle. Ooh. We got number 12, Misato Katsuragi, who has to be by contract in every <laughs> single one of our Annie Pro tournaments nominated by Cole. Listen, listen, this is my <laughs> podcast and I will nominate who I want to. And you did. Yeah, uh, I did. And then we also got Kaguya Shinomiya, number 14, going up <sighs> against him. Her. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. That's a Because honestly, like, listen. Remember when Misato picks up Shinji in episode one? It's true. And her car literally explodes, but she still <laughs> gets him to nerve. To nerve. Nerve. She will get you to where you need to go, yeah, but, no matter what but her happens car exploded. in between. Yeah, and she kind of smells like beer. Yeah. I, sh- it doesn't matter. The floor might be pretty matter. sticky if, uh, if she's you, drinking a lot of you beer. Are, you are going from one, point A to point B. She's going to pick you up in a cool sports car. She's Misato. I need I remind the, you. Do I here's pay the extra thing. for the cool sports car? No, no. Here's, that's just the car she's here's got. Here's the thing. Kaguya is very rich. She might like have a whole limo company take you somewhere. It's true. Like, I, no, I, you know what, though? Like, thinking about it, I don't think Kaguya would be a good driver. Kaguya wouldn't even know how to drive. Yeah. She's literally would ne- she, probably never touched a steering wheel in her life. Yeah, she has drivers. Misato, she knows how to drive. She is a professional woman. <laughs> she, she is Certified a professional woman. professional woman. She is a grown woman with a career. She's a grown woman with a career, and part of that career is driving it's true. a cool sports car. It's true. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, honestly, Misato, like I know the meme is, yes, I always pick her, but because she's kind of good at everything. She kind of is, Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going with Misato on this one. Sorry, Kaguya. Yeah. Jay, what are you going? I, I'm kind of still tossed here. Mm. I don't know. Like, so just for ground rules, are we saying that, like, it has to be the character as the driver or just, like, they're yes. the representative of how you're getting there? No, the, the character. The character is the is driver. Because, like, if, if you go that way, then, yeah, why would kaguya hire a a, like a limo yeah yeah get you to somewhere right yeah makes sense when you order an uber it shows you the car that they're coming in and a little picture of them it's true okay okay yeah so you order a car and you see kaguya's picture come up and i don't know she'd probably have a pretty decent car probably like a lincoln yeah it would be it would be a nice car she also doesn't drink which is another thing that's what i'm thinking too actually Mm -hmm. so like you know she might not be swerving a lot, whereas Misato... Well, I, hey, 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 I resent that comment. I drink. That doesn't mean I drive drunk. Mm, Misato, Misato for seems sure does. Like she does. She for sure no, does. No, she doesn't. She for... No, she doesn't. Point out a scene where she is drinking and driving. They don't show it in the show for the sake of her dignity, no. but I, yeah. you, you there, can tell. There is show... no... There, no, no. Show all no, of her commutes no. to work, ever. She doesn't drink and drive. Because they don't show she every drinks... time she drives to work in the morning. Mm-mm. No, she drinks at home, or she'll go out for drinks. There's a lot of drinks involved. It's maybe there is a lot of drinks. A lot of drinks and drive. Drinks and drive. But notice, not notice when she's drinking, she's not driving. It's okay. That's okay. All I'm, saying. I'm going Kaguya Shinomiya. Just because I look also, I look at the car, and she probably is driving like something very nice, and I would pick that. Well, I hope you like getting cold stares in the mirror. That's cool. I'm I'm fine with that. I'm gonna be looking at my phone anyway. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to pick. Bad pick. <laughs> you it's nominated pick. her. Why did you nominate it's bad. her? Why did you nominate bad her? Because I had to pick some people other than Misato. <laughs> just picks five Misatos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pick Kaguya Shinomiya. Oh, I, want... I didn't. I didn't know where he was gonna go. I, 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 I knew he would. I want the nice car. I knew he would. As soon as, as soon as you said Misato versus Kaguya, I'm like, I know Misato's out. Bye, Jay's bye, picking Misato. Kaguya. Enjoy being no. unemployed. Jeez. Very, Gendo fired her for that? Pick. Yeah, well, no, she's she's self-employed. She's a, there's there's always there's always a point where I get like very spicy. Oh yeah, about <laughs> yeah. yeah. And this, this is, is this, this is the moment I, I can tell. This is yeah. this I'm is why I, this is partially why I picked Kaguya because I wanted this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> me too. Actually, I am like, <laughs> shaking with rage right now. You guys literally want to be driven around by a child, but hey, it's cool. Yeah. It's cool. Cole, Cole you guys, let me remind you. Guys you en- let me remind enjoy, you. You enjoy, literally picked Joey Wheeler their last round, who is also a literal child. Enjoy sitting on the side of the road after she got into a horrible car accident, while I 
continue on my journey with Misato, but whatever. Yeah. Have fun having Majority your horrible rules, accident with Misato when her car blows up. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. She'll still get us to the the place. We must move on. Because she'll she'll put her car back together with tape. That's not how it works. That's not how a car <laughs> that works. That is how it works. We must move that on. That is literally the show. That is literally cool. how it works. The show must go on. <laughs> yes, let's yeah, continue. Cool. Save your spice for when you're making a nice taco dinner. Uh, I will. Okay, we got number six. Naoya Mukai from Girlfriend, Girlfriend. Main character from Girlfriend, Girlfriend. Okay, is that a guy or a girl? I don't it's a guy. Know. He's okay. a guy. Yeah, okay. he's the main character. I thought number six is someone else. Oh, that's I Nami. That yeah, number, number six is Nami. Oh. Hey, it's Nami from One Piece. My nomination. Your nomination? Yeah, the navigator for the Straw Hat Pirates. Okay, uh, okay. Going up against number 14, Kaguya Shinomiya. She, mm. pulled, she already dropped us off. She's coming back for another round. She, now she's taking you back to the hotel afterward. Whoa, Jay. Uh, Nami... Where are you going like, to stay? You just came, You just got Whoa. to... What? You just you just got to the airport. So then she drove you to the convention. Now you need someone to drive you back to the hotel. So you, where yeah, you have to stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you yeah, talking yeah. about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Nami, she is a navigator by trade. That is what she does. She knows her way around. She's going to know all the routes. She's going to know the shortcuts to get you there. She's going to know the, the weather that's somehow going to factor into this. She's going to probably charge you way more than you actually she's should she's gonna take she's all your greedy. money yeah she's, she's gonna, gonna take all your wallet. money yeah uh kaguya she's very nervous looking she doesn't you know you got nami here she's very confident she's pretty she's a grown adult i'm assuming in this actually they're both like 16 i don't know someone else talk i'm i'm, I'm losing my way here <laughs> hmm. so my biggest well, let me let me remind let me remind you of that one time where there was that missile that blew up and then uh uh misato put her car back together with tape Misato is out cold. <laughs> <laughs> just impossible to let it go. <laughs> no, it's impossible. Okay, no, no. Okay, Kaguya will show up in a very nice leather seated car. Mm -hmm. uh, Nami, I'm assuming, will show up in a. She seems like a motorcycle kind of gal. No. <laughs> When Uber shows up on a no. motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, motorcycle's out of the no, question. No, Nami would have something nice, too. She has, she's very wealthy, because she takes everybody's money. Is she? This yeah. is, yeah. But, like... Oh, she takes also, everybody's money. Yeah, well, she she's take, a thief. She takes all your money. She yeah. loves money. She's very, she's very greedy. Yeah. Okay, well, then. It's a defining characteristic. Very greedy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Literally was known as Nami on this one. the cat burglar. Yeah. yeah I, I kind of think Kaguya, just because I don't want, I want my money. <laughs> Yeah, when I put yeah, I don't want somebody to steal my money. Yeah, when, when I put Nami in, I thought it was a slam dunk because the navigator thing, and I completely forgot until I was pitching her that she is a thief by trade. So mm -hmm. mm. yeah, she's got a one star review on <laughs> yeah on on Uber, Uber because she takes everyone's money. You know what? Actually, on Uber, I don't think you can like steal money. So she would just probably take like a ridiculous route, and like you'd have like twice the fare. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, or like yeah. she no, she would just literally take your cash. Yeah, like I mean, your wallet's in your pocket, so she can easily take it. Yeah, but usually they have that little protect anyway. Yeah, <laughs> Nami, bye bye. I'm so sorry, my dear. Who do we got next? Wait, did we actually vote? I think we all did, right? Yeah, we all voted Kaguya. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Number three, Yato from Noragami. Jay's nomination mm -hmm, going mm -hmm. up against Cole's nomination. Satoru Gojo. Ooh, okay. this is, this like is kind of two similar one. characters here. Actually, yeah, a little bit. Jay, yeah. pitch Yato. I feel like okay. go. Go ahead, go. Oh, okay. Okay. So okay. I feel like Gojo. <laughs> go. Go ahead. Go ahead, Jay. Okay. No, no, no. Go ahead, Cole. <laughs> Cole, go ahead. No, Cole's stepped away. Jay, you must go. If you if you take a sip of that instead of going, I'm gonna freak out. Go. Okay. Um. So Yato runs like a, a an odd jobs business. So like he he does. And like he'll do anything anyone asks. And here's the thing: oh. you only have to pay him five yen to to oh. do for him to do whatever oh, Jay. whatever you want. So this is a, this is a genius the, pick by the Jay. The only thing that he'll charge you is five yen, which basically five translates cents. to five cents. So you'll get to the convention for five cents, basically. Right. That's a very cheap okay. cab ride. And also, like that is a he pro he would he would do it. He'll 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 get through it, and you'll get there perfectly fine and he'd be, that is a very he'd be so grateful too if you left him a five-star review he'd be like yeah oh over yeah over the moon right oh yeah oh that's a good jay you've got a contender here this is a this mm -hmm. is a good pick 
I told, I knew, I knew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cole? Well, here's, here's my pitch for Gojo. Gojo, he's well off, I think. Like, he's, he's a pretty successful guy. He'd, he'd show up in a pretty decent car. Sure would. Right? Yeah. What would, what would Yato show up in? Mm, Probably not something so nice. No. Would he show up in anything or would you be, he'd be a bike. Hitching a ride up. Upon his shoulders, <laughs> as he literally walks you to the venue. That's, yes, that's not an option. Yes, it's not an option. Yes, it is a it is a five cent fare. But will you get there before the day is through? Oh, uh, he's got a good point. Dang it, Cole, you're so smart. But oh. I rebut I rebut you. One mm-hmm. thing that Yato has on uh, our good friend Satoru Gojo here is yeah. not a blindfold over his eyes. That is true. Well, he. The blindfold is for our protection, not his. He he. It's not he, for he protection, doesn't... though. It's for like he, he, he still can't see. Yes, he can. He. How do you think he functions? He, yeah, he still he gets can around. Still like he can still get around. He doesn't need to see. But like, here's my point. I'm 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 going back to again. I'm looking out the. I walk out the airport. I'm like, you know, I just landed in LAX. Uh, I forget how the rest mm-hmm. of the Miley Cyrus song goes. Uh... And I'm looking out of the, the parking lot and I see Yato behind his kind of like old beat up cab. And I look and I He's s- not behind anything. He's he's standing behind <laughs> no, he an old beat to, up cab. He has, he has to a be cab. behind something. Yeah, he has some, it, he has, he's we, behind a wheel of some yeah, kind. Yeah, we have to assume that they're yeah. behind something. And I look at Gojo That's and I see a blindfolded man behind the wheel. And I say, hmm. At the same time, if like the police, if they see someone driving with a blindfold on, they're not going to know we can see. So you're going to get pulled over. So well, he's getting gonna... pulled over, not me. Yeah, but you're in the car with him. Yeah, n- now you're late. Now you're late. Well, you're probably you're probably going to be late too with Yato, who can only put in five cents worth of gas in every trip. It's true. That car is not making it to the venue. I'm sorry. That thing is falling apart. It looks worse than Misato's you know car after that explosion. What if? I just can't let Misato go. Uh, what, <laughs> what if the five cent fare is only his salary? And the Uber takes the rest of it, and it's Uber's car he's driving. That's not how Uber works. Well, then, though. yeah, it's his car. Okay, well, uh, it would be his car. Let's say that that's let's, let's say, say that that's a how car, it works. and he just gets paid the five cents. Okay, so now mm-hmm. you have the option to pay the same amount of money between two people. One is in a okay car, and the other is like an awesome car. You realize it's the same argument that I used for Kaguya versus Misato, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. uh. The difference is uh, Yato isn't Misato. I'm going... And to be honest, if I'm landing in L.A. and I see some guy in a blindfold, I'm like, whatever, it's L.A. That's true. Yeah, but... This stuff's crazy here. I don't know. I'm going with I'm Gojo, Gojo because nice car and he's not in a track suit, probably. The track suit is kind of a deterrent for me, thinking about Yato a little bit. He kind of looks like he might take my money. You know what I mean? <laughs> kind of like he looks shady. I mean, after you give him the five mm. cents, he'd only... You just I wouldn't say, know okay, that, though. You. I wouldn't know that, though. I'm that going true. Satoru that Gojo. Gojo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he also goes Gojo. Good debate. Very well done. So Good job. Debateful. Good job, boys. Are you ready for the next one? I am shaking with anticipation. I hold two pieces of paper in my hands. They are so small. Do they small. have numbers on them? They have numbers on them. Number 13, Cole's nomination. Reagan Arata- Arataka from Mob Psycho. Mm. Versus yeah. my nomination, number seven, All Might. Cole, okay. tell me why Tell me why Reagan would be a good taxi driver. Re- Reagan personifies this type of work. He does. He's <laughs> he's gonna he's he's gonna have like he's gonna have bottles of water. He's gonna have like little like bags of of uh, pretzels or something for you in there. He's gonna just chat with you. He's gonna tell you all about all of the stuff that goes on in the city. You're gonna learn a lot. It's going to be a good ride. And it's unassuming. It's just a good, solid Uber. Five out of five, five stars. He gets a 25% tip. Away we go. It's just a good ride. Solid ride. You heard it here first. Reagan Hirataka. Just a solid ride. <laughs> now, All Might. I mostly put him in here mm-hmm. so that when you arrive, you have All Might saying, <laughs> I am here. <laughs> <laughs> and that alone is worth the price of a mission. Mm, that it's a good argument yeah plus it's all might you know he's taking you somewhere safe you look behind the wheel you see a guy dressed in a superhero costume heck yeah <laughs> it's LA. and then you see I, he he starts coughing up bloods for some reason 
Oh, I'm picturing strong all might. Just squeezed so yeah. tight into that little Mini Cooper. <laughs> yeah, he's just he, he's just humongous, and he's dressed in a superhero costume. That's scary. Yeah, that is a little scary. But I am here, guys. I am here. Yeah, that is that is a that very is a good, good argument. argument. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is good. Mm. I'm going all might. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, Mike. Do you have any other arguments? No, no, all my. No, he's a good dude. You know what he's, <laughs> he's getting? He's a good worried. guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's a good dude. Sure, yeah. Why would somebody Honestly, dressed I'd as be... Superman be a bad guy? I, hey, yeah, no, that maybe would never he's happen. also going to the convention. So, like, it's I mean, true. yeah, you can talk about Comic Con. I would. You can talk about uh, cosplay and stuff with him while you're in the yeah? car. Yeah, yeah. I would honestly be less intimidated and less scared if he was like skinny All Might. Yeah, then it's just some dude. Yeah, it's just, just some like Nori. little dude driving a car. Here's the yeah. thing. Reagan is a bit of a con artist. That's what I was thinking too. But you don't Cole mm-hmm. him like he's you don't know that. Dude, you don't know but, that, but like yeah. he's still going to steal your money. He doesn't steal anybody's money. Yeah, he doesn't money. steal. That is true. He doesn't like physically take money from people. He just like listen. He's a con artist in the sense that he like goes over the top to like draw as much money out of people. So as a passenger in the car, I am just going to be on the receiving end of this over the top service. Yeah. Right. So he's just going to get a bigger tip. Huge tip. That's all. Yeah. He's just going to give me like a, a bag of pretzels that has like two pretzels in it and a bottle of water. And I'm going to be like, this is the best <laughs> effing Uber ride I've ever had. I love Because it would be. Yeah. I love two pretzels. Rub them together. Yeah. But like, fire. when would you ever get pretzels from somebody? Right. He knows. Mm-hmm. He knows that if he just go, he does those little extra things for people, he'll he'll get more money. So, yes, he's a con artist in quotation marks. But as the. On the receiving end of that, again, con in quotation marks, it literally has like no negative effects on me other than making me view him as a better person and giving him a bigger tip. He's probably also dressed nicely, too. He's probably dressing like business which, casual, too, right? Yeah, which isn't well, he's always a con. In a suit. That's just... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like Reagan's a, he'd he be actually, a good Uber yeah, driver. He actually looks kind of like an Uber, like a... Yeah. 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 I could see him being a limo driver, even. Yeah. Yeah. Still going all might though because I am here. <laughs> I'm going Reagan, obviously. Cole, I'll join you with that Reagan uh, oh. vote. Well, I guess yeah. all might yeah. is not, not here. here no longer here. Unemployed. Yeah, <laughs> he's not here anymore. Office. Yeah, sorry, I tried Toshinori. <sighs> okay, next pick. We got number fifteen, Satoru Gojo, going okay. up against yeah. number thirteen, Reagan Arataka. I'm still saying Reagan on this. Yeah, one. I think I think I, I'm still for the Reagan. same reasons. Yeah. yeah, Gojo, Gojo would just like yeah, he's got the nice car and he'd be like interesting to talk to, but like after a while, his whole like I'm the best shtick would just kind of be annoying. Be a bit annoying, especially if you're stuck in traffic and that's all he's telling mm-hmm. you. Yeah. yeah, Reagan, like he's he's doing he's saying whatever he's got to say to get that yeah. extra money I mean, out of me. Look, Reagan would be like, "You're bored in traffic. Here's a Game Boy." Yeah, yeah. I think you have a Game Boy, Michael. I think you guys are like, (laughs) you guys are picturing a Reagan that doesn't exist. He's not that. He's not giving you things for free. No, No you still have to pay him. I no. Yeah, he knows. He knows that by him giving you the Game Boy to use, he will receive a better tip, a bigger tip. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It costs him nothing to hand you the Game Boy. Listen, Michael, you got to put yourself in the mind. Of a Reagan or a I know, yeah. and I picture him as like a shady used car salesman, is what I'm thinking. And I, I just don't like that kind of character. I, I think don't know. Most like... Ubers kind of give off that vibe of like, because you're getting into a random true. person's car. It's true. Uh, Satoru when Gojo. does Reagan ever give off that vibe? He's such a nice guy. He's a con man. He is a con man. But you're getting no, a he's, Game Boy he's... in traffic. So, I mean, Reagan. He's so nice. I'm going again. <laughs> curb, curb appeal test. I, mm-hmm. When I look at Gojo, he looks like a party boy in a, in his daddy's yeah. car with when a I blindfold, at, yeah, with a blindfold on and a crazy hairdo. And when I look at Regan, I see a presentable young man suited up, <laughs> older than me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's ready to rock. He's got a nice. He's got yeah. a, a nice but not flashy car. I'm going Regan. He's waving that little baggie of pretzels in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> he would be in one hand. Yeah. 
in, in, the in other, his he's uh, got a Uber Game Boy. picture, he's got the he's got the the pretzels in his hand. In the, I'm probably in the getting a picture. bill for five dollars at the end too to add it onto my bill for the two pretzels too. But I'll, oh, yeah. I'll still go Regan oh, just because yeah. oh, yeah. yeah, he's, mm-hmm. he he's a nice guy and he has the better curb appeal over Gojo. Mm-hmm. Gentlemen, I agree. I agree. Well then, goodbye, Satoru Gojo. We hide. Gojo to the poles. Ha! Oh, timely reference. <laughs> we're we're clearly dating ourselves here. Speaking of cringe, <laughs> <laughs> we have Naoya Mukai, whoever that do be, main character from Girlfriend Girlfriend versus mm-hmm. Reagan Eritaka. <laughs> Why do Coles always get like picked <laughs> six times in a row? And this is an easy one for me because I don't know who the other person is. Okay, here's the thing. This is a tough one for me. Yeah, Naya is, like, so committed. If he says he'll do something, he will do it. He will make sure it gets done, and he will do it to the best of his ability. Listen, we have Regan, who is uh, Mm -hmm, mm shady-ish, you know? mm -hmm. He's a con man, as we like to say. Versus Naya, who is the most honest person Mm -hmm. like Like, honest honest to a fault to a fault literally like that he's the definition of honest to a fault Mm -hmm. i feel like now would be the kind of guy who when he's like plotting out his route he'd be like oh okay this is a good no 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 this wouldn't work because there's construction over here so let's go this (laughs) no that won't work either you'd end up just sitting there (laughs) waiting for him to start going before he even left because he's constantly like being too analytical mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah that's i just i just tough. looked up this is a tough one i just looked up what this guy looks like mm-hmm. and i must say he passes the curb appeal test he's got a nice blazer oh, on. yeah oh, he's yeah. very oh, yeah. unassuming oh, yeah looks he looks sharp if that makes sense he looks like he knows what mm-hmm. he's doing yeah but and not then in you'd a mean hop way. in his car he just looks confident yeah mm-hmm. yeah You'd hop in his car and then he'd start telling you about his two girlfriends and how he loves his two girlfriends and how cute his two girlfriends are. And then that's what you got to listen to huh. the whole time, Michael. All right, I'm going Reagan. <laughs> I'm on my phone no, the whole I don't time. Know. Yeah, I'm, on my, I'm not going to listen to him anyway. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, this is a tough one. I'm going to let you guys go because I'm actually right. legitimately. I'm voting on uh, the now, yeah. This one. Okay. Of course he is. Cole, yeah. I just, I, I think I don't know enough about now, yeah. That I'm just going to go uh-huh. Reagan. And that basically just makes uh. it say you just have to pick one. Because I don't yep, know the that other That was characters. the plan. <laughs> yeah. I was hoping that's how it would end up. Because like, I don't yep. know who this is. So. Yeah. You know what? He's now, yeah. Yeah, I had a feeling you were going to go. He's just a solid, he's just a solid, solid he's guy. He's a solid you know? dude. And like, he will always and he d- achieve the results that he sets out to do. So, mm-hmm. yeah. No matter what. Yeah, no matter what. Yeah. 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 Like having two he will girlfriends, get you apparently. There. Yeah, yeah. He'll get you to where you need to go. You need to go yeah. no matter what happens. Yeah. Well, what about Joey Wheeler or mm-hmm. okay. Kaguya Shinomiya? <laughs> oh. You got Joey. Oh. You got that Brooklyn the accent. You got, the, you got that Brooklyn accent. accent. He's got that hairdo. He's got mm-hmm. like the, he just looks like a guy who had, knows his way behind the wheel, right? Mm-hmm. You got mm-hmm. Shinomiya pulling up in her very nice car. Probably like a Bentley or something insane, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, or like mm. at least an Audi, like at the least, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, or like It'd a be BMW. Like a nice, yeah, like we have, yeah, a nice car. Mm-hmm. Whereas Joey's for sure just driving a Crown Vic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say, yeah. I do think Joey would be a bit more confident on the road than Shinomiya, but Shinomiya, kind of... Shinomiya would have a nicer car. Yeah, you know what, jo- Joey, I think would be a lot friendlier with you as well. Mm-hmm. Shinomiya is for sure not talking to you. That is yeah. true. She's scowling at you while you're like trying to pick between the two. She's like, ah, oh, hurry up. <laughs> and Joey's just like just sitting there like, ah, oh, it's all good. Take a look whatever. at my Jinzo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You'd have to get and I'm like, hell yeah, Joey Wheeler. <laughs> yeah. As I jump in the back seat because that's my vote. Joey Wheeler. Joey Wheeler. Joey Wheeler, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think the other thing with Kaguya too is she probably, she doesn't project the an air of confidence to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but. I think that's only because I know her intimately from the anime. Whereas like when you hear other people talking about her in public and stuff, mm-hmm. she's like the ice queen. Like she's very like confident, poised and composed and stuff. Yeah, right? that is true. So from from the eye test, me walking to the curb, I see Joey Wheeler. I see Kaguya Shinomiya. I'd have a tough time here. I'd be like, do I want to go Honestly, for the guy who I'm kind of the same, Mike? Yeah, this is a tough one. Because like here's the thing Joey... that I that I thought of as you're standing there trying to decide which one to pick. 
You can oh. tell Kaguya is annoyed. That is true. Are you going to get in that car now because she's like being all prissy? Or are you going to hop in with the cool dude with the Yu-Gi-Oh cards? You know what? I just, I just thought of a groundbreaking, totally game-changing point to make in this argument. Okay. Mm-hmm. Kaguya Shinomiya. Yeah. Is a very pretty girl. Oh, very. Yeah. I'm getting in the car with her. <laughs> <laughs> Against your wife? You're going to be with there with your wife, Mike. Yeah. And you get in the car with the pretty girl? I just, yeah, it's a nice car, you know. Just hop She's in. pretty girl. Yeah. She is a pretty girl. She is taken, though. Listen, you go you to, you go you to Hooters. <laughs> Do you want the cook to serve you your wings? I don't care. I just want my wings. Jay. Jay, be real. No, here. I'm serious. I just want my wings. I don't care. Jay. Jay. I'm going Kaguya. Jay. <laughs> Cole? That is a good argument. <laughs> See? This, I thought of this. I don't know why it took us so long to come to this conclusion. That pretty girls are... Yeah, because honestly, I probably wouldn't be standing there thinking about it. No. I'd be like, oh, hell yeah. Let's with... get in this really nice car with this pretty girl. Yeah. Yeah. Thinking, of, thinking about it from that, like, totally, like, you don't know who it is at all. I'm walking out in the airport. There's one Crown Vic with a guy with a Brooklyn accent. <laughs> For sure playing and on his there's, phone. Uh, there's a BMW here with a pretty girl in it. Same price. Just getting that. Yeah. Getting that BMW. See... Kaguya. I'm kind of torn because like I know me and I know like I'd approach the BMW, see the pretty girl and go like, uh oh, pretty girl. How do I interact? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no. And then I would sit in the back seat in silence because I'd yeah. be too intimidated yeah, yeah, to yeah, talk yeah, to her. Oh, yeah. Yes, no, no, I know. So. But like, yes. I, I don't know if I'd even be able to get in the same vehicle as pretty stranger. Whereas with mm. Joey, I, I know like, oh, that's a bro. You know, I can, I can... I don't want to say your vote doesn't matter, but me it and Cole have both already voted. But yeah, we need know, your vote anyway. I know. Yeah, we need your vote. I'm going to vote. Knowing me, I'd probably get in the car with Joey Wheeler. And guess what? Okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Joey Wheeler would be taking you to the unemployment office as he does not get our business. <laughs> no, no. Jay, I respect your commitment. I respect it, though. I respect you, but yeah. I'm sorry. You are No, wrong. it is a very valid argument. <laughs> yes. Just n knowing me, that's... I just know that that's what I do. But anyway, mm -hmm. moving on. Yep. All right. Now tell me, we have number nine, Mr. Mime. I was just about to say, we haven't okay. seen Mr. Mime in a while. <laughs> Mr. Mime hasn't been no. out here in a while. And then we got Mr. Mime going up against Lloyd Forger. Oh, this is an easy one. This is an me. easy one. Really? Yeah. Lloyd. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lloyd knows what he's doing. Yeah. I'm not. Okay. Again, curb appeal. Curb appeal. Mr. Curb Mime appeal. would be creepy. You walk. Oh, gosh. You walk out. There's a car with, like, a man. He's wearing a suit and glasses. In the other car behind behind the wheel in the driver's seat is some is kind Mr. of creature. Mime? Yeah. Like, some kind of monster is driving this other car. Yeah, and, like, then, no. and then he rolls down the window and goes, Mr. Mime. Yeah, no, 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 thanks. No, thanks. That is scary. I'm going Mr. Mime. Scary. Yeah. I'm going Lloyd. Lloyd Forger. Lloyd Forger. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Mime. <laughs> Mr. Mime is a creature from somewhere. The abyss. He looks so friendly yeah. in his horrifying no, way. No, he doesn't. He's scary. <laughs> Think about that in real life. Yeah. Oh, be, have you ever Remember seen Detective like... Detective Pikachu, Mr. Yes, Mime? Yes. Yes. That I was that's creepy. What I'm picturing. He's that was horrifying. creepy. Yeah. Have you ever heard the thing yeah. where they say like apparently like there was like a marketing meeting and they were talking about mr mime and they were like yeah just don't use mr mime he's too creepy you can't use him in marketing stuff <laughs> oh no that was when yeah, they were making a... detective pikachu they told him yeah. not to put mr mime in detective pikachu because he's too mm -hmm. creepy yeah he's a creepy too creepy he's a creepy too yeah. creepy yeah i'm sorry mr mime what does it sway your mind at all if ash's mum is along for the ride no. No, then I'm like, how did that creature get that <laughs> woman in the, I feel, in the I, car? I'd more want to call the police than get in the car. Yeah. <laughs> that poor woman. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, Mr. Mime, goodbye. Okay. Only four remain, and one of them has not been seen yet. Ooh. Ooh, who is this mystery combatant? Oh. Did you draw them? Oh, they're approaching? It's Dio Brando okay. from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Okay. Oh, him. Yeah. Going up against Naoya Mukai. Now, listen, I think I've made a mistake with picking my cab drivers because I chose huge, beefy, scary men for several of them. <laughs> <laughs> and a literal monster. So. <laughs> Here's the other thing. Dio's a vampire. Well, you don't know yeah. that. Well, no, but. Vampires still. are. He's very charming, though, right? 
That yes, is true. Yes, that is fires do have do have charms. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Able to draw people. Oh, to that's them. true. And he did well. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't know that, but um, he, he, did, like, he like, did kill a dog once. <laughs> <laughs> you would know that by looking at him. <laughs> no, I was gonna say like he did charm a lot of people. Oh yes, he is very mm-hmm. charming. That's the whole thing with vampires. They're he very, is very charming. charming. Yeah. Mm, very stylish looking that's a good point he's for sure driving mm-hmm. something super cool Here's he's driving thing. like a vintage uh, mike, hot rod mike game changing thing you would get there instantly yeah you'd be like how did we get here so yeah, fast yeah. miraculously fast mm-hmm. would I hear that cool sound effect too that the world makes the like yeah you know, well you wouldn't know about it argument. because you don't have a stand you just get there you don't know that uh, I think this is an easy one for me but I want to hear what you guys have to say, because I don't know who Naoya Mukai is. Well, again, Naoya is going to get you where you need to yeah, go. He looks that guy's got a five star. I- that guy's got a five star uh, rating. Mm-hmm. Dio, I feel like if his car broke down, he's leaving you. Yeah. You're stranded. Yeah. He might leave you before got- you actually go anywhere. Yeah, that's true. He yeah, might, he's, you he's, might get he's... in the car and then he might just walk out. Well, he'll just take your money and then tell you to get out. And then yeah. what are you going to do? It's Dio. Yeah. Or you might yeah, approach he's got and a- then uh, he takes your wallet, pushes you a little bit back, and then uh, drives away. But when you approach Cackling. the car, he'll say, oh, you're, <laughs> you're approaching, approaching me? me? Yeah. And then you'd be a bit scared and kind of not want to go into DLC. That would make me want to the next no, car. I'm not. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. Mukai. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. 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 Dio, Dio's too intimidating. Yeah. Too aggressive. Yeah. Three remain. No. <gasps> Two remain. No. Three, Three remain. remain. Three. Three remain. Three remain. Sorry, I forgot to cross them off the list. Okay. We got... Number two, Lloyd O'Forger versus Ooh. number 14, Kaguya Shinomiya. Ah, uh, here's... This, so is the, it's, this is the final. Uh, we, got a, we got solid candidates. Among, I, we've narrowed down what we want in a driver. We want someone clean cut, mm-hmm. presentable, mm-hmm. drive something yeah. nice, mm-hmm. and they know what yeah. they're doing, right? Yeah. And we're talking Kaguya versus Lloyd. I don't know if Kaguya Both would see very what good he's looking. doing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Lloyd, five stars. Mm-hmm. Yep. No matter what. You can't trust the rating for Kaguya because simps are going to give her a five star review no matter what she does. Yeah, well, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, yes, they will. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. See, this is tough. Kaguya, I feel like Mike's argument still stands from before. It's a valid argument. Very mm-hmm. good point that I made. Nice car, pretty girl. But Lloyd seems a little more capable know, about, about him. An aura. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice car. But he's just serious. He's serious. He's got a decent car, you know? He's still driving a nice car. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It might be a Civic, but it's like it's a convertible. top of the line Civic. It's a convertible. Civic. It's a top of no, the line Civic. I'm, I'm, I think Cole's more on it. Like a, yeah, or like a I'm, Toyota I'm thinking Camry. of the car that he drives with them mm-hmm. in the second OP. Yeah. That's, that's the yeah, kind like of car. Yeah, like it's a I nice think, car. Yeah. I think this one's, even with the curb appeal of Kaguya, I think at the end of the day, Lloyd just looks like a man who knows what he's doing behind the wheel. More I think reliable. I'm going Lloyd. Yeah. 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 Whereas when I look yeah, at a seems little more... teenage girl, I just, I don't know. Versus does a she even have man, her license? Almost assuredly not. But in this scenario, yeah. we can pretend she does. Yeah. Yeah. But like, you'd still no, be like, I'm... she does, but you'd be wondering like, does she have her license? Yeah. Just because like, she, she looks look... so young, right? Like you're a little yeah. skeptical. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How are you an Uber yeah. driver? Yeah. Why are you yeah. in such a nice car? Are you an angel, as Anakin Skywalker once said? <laughs> I hate sand. It's gritty and gets everywhere. Yeah. yeah. It's gritty Gundam and gets That's everywhere. Me. Uh, Lloyd Forger goes for me. Yeah. Lloyd, Lloyd Forger. Forger. Yeah. Sorry, Kaguya. Sorry, Kaguya. Don't worry. She's got a perfect life already. She's okay. Oh, yeah. 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 She doesn't she'll need be to be employed. She'll this pick is just up an the addition. next person. Yeah. 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 Now, the next simp will, will jump in her car. Yeah. yeah. We've made it to the end of That's our tournament. That's the other thing. Guys. I wouldn't oh. feel bad. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. She's going to have business for sure. She doesn't even need the business. Why is she driving a car? She's a millionaire. Yeah. Uh, we have the final match between the two presentable gentlemen, Naoya mm-hmm. Mukai and Lloyd Forger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Both Jay's nominations yes. have made it to the end. Yes. Jay is very happy about very this. Very happy. Tell. He's grinning from ear to ear. Eh, yeah. I made some good picks this time, boys. Yes, you did. And now... Tell us and a car who and a car, pick. but and I mean a... the car was the out of the box decision because I thought that it would be funny. Yes, you picked a literal unoccupied <laughs> vehicle. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> best girl that you'd get behind the wheel and say, "What do I do now?" <laughs> what do, what do? <laughs> my my what my do? big role with that car was to convince you both to pick it. 
but I couldn't do that. So couldn't couldn't even no. do that. Nope. Now tell us who you're picking here. Okay, here's my argument for voting for Lloyd Forger. Mm-hmm. Again, the whole rating system. L- listen, you walk out. Okay, first of all, curb appeal. You walk out. You see Naoya. He's in a nice car, mm-hmm. in a decent car. You know, silver Civic. Lloyd Forger. He's in a blacked out Civic. Leather seats, mm-hmm. sunroof. Oh, it's nice. In one, you've got a nice, unassuming young man. Looks friendly enough. In the other, you've got a, a grown man, a gentleman, tr- trim, yeah. like just yeah. like just spick he's and like span. holding his his fedora over his heart, like he's like, oh, he's got fuck. a fedora on too. It didn't even factor that in. That's yeah, a, that's important. Yeah. yeah, ratings. Lloyd, five stars, easy. Yeah, not a bad review. He in wouldn't. There. He wouldn't let you give him now a bad yeah? review. You know what I mean? Like he would convince now, you. Yeah. Now, yeah, though, he's maybe they have like a three or four. And the reason for that is he would constantly be bragging about his two uh, girlfriends who he loves and how cute his two girlfriends are. So I think Little weird. there is something we're overlooking. And I do want to question mm-hmm. this. Now the okay. girls aren't in the car with him. No, that's not what I was going to say. What if he gets ambushed or we in the car in his car get ambushed by people that he was uh, mm. currently on a mission with? I feel like he'd handle it without you even noticing. That is true. Yeah. That is true. He is he would. super capable, right? He would. Because that has literally yeah, happened before. That is he's true. He's comically capable. Mm-hmm. Yes. I think this is a pretty easy yeah. one for me, guys. I gotta be honest. It just comes down to how capable and, like, grown and at the up same, Lloyd is. Yeah, at the same time, just like Kage, you'd be wondering, like, do you even have your license? Like, you, you're, you yeah, look like Yeah, is he like a 15-year-old boy, too? This, yeah, he's, uh, in, he's in high school. Mukai gentleman? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I think he's probably like seventeen or something like that. Like he's old enough to have a license. No, I yeah, think. of course, but you'd still be wondering. So is Kaguya, right? I guess. Right? Like you'd still, yeah. you'd still wonder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Lloyd. Lloyd. <laughs> Naoya Mukai is fifteen. Lloyd Forger wins this. He's fifteen. They're fifteen. They're 15. Yeah, yeah, they're this, fifteen. Again, anime Anime's ages weird. Anime is weird, man. Anime ages don't. Anime make sense. was a mistake. Yeah. yeah. Holy. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, there we go. Honestly, I'm very pleased with with how this turned yeah. out. Lloyd, I feel like is yeah. like he's the right choice. He'd be a solid. He's almost the right choice. Yeah, Mr. Mime's there too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, um, Kobeni's car. No. Joey Wheeler. Joey Wheeler was yeah. close, but he's got mm-hmm. a little too. He's a little too rough around the edges. He is a bit too rough around he, the edges. He needs to yeah. stop yeah. talking about his Yugi. He's, it's the, kind of the same thing with uh, <laughs> Naoya Mukai talking about his girlfriends. Mm-hmm. Joey just keeps showing you all these awesome Yu Gi Oh cards, and you just be like, "Okay, enough." I get okay, it. Yeah, I'm get jealous. It. You have cool cards. Can, can I give? Can Can I trade anything for them? And then he'd be like, maybe for like 50, 50 extra bones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was a flawless. <laughs> that was a flawless accent. <laughs> Thanks we for lo- listening I- to the Anime Protagonist podcast. <laughs> oh, I, I, it's maybe for fifty extra bones. <laughs> that's it. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. great. That's I'll a, take those cards off your hand. It's a great place to play for a uh, flawless mint condition Jinzo. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. get us out of yes, here. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> like Mike said, we all thank you for listening to the Anime Protagonist Podcast. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, uh, at AniProPod. That's A-N-I-P-R-O-P-O-D. You can follow me directly. My name is Cole. You can tell me, you can share with me why I was right in picking Misato as the number one Uber driver at AniProCole. That's A-N-I-P-R-O-C-O-L-E. J. What's your Twitter? You can tell me that I was right in picking Lloyd Forger as the number one Uber driver at J Y G A R E D I A N. That was correct, I think. I'm so tired. I think it was right. Yeah. That was right. Um, I think it was. I think so. And John Jay. Uh, Cole or Mike, where can they find you? <laughs> Which one, Mike? Oh, Mike. okay. That's me. I'm <laughs> at Gritty Gundam. G R I T T Y G U N D A M. Check it out. <laughs> Check it out and tell Michael about how none of his picks. We're good. <laughs> We're good. We're literally. Uh, I don't think any of mine won a single match, did they? No, no. yours are all scary. Yeah, yeah. apparently yeah, I'm, I'm yours scary. are all kind of yeah. scary. Leave a like, review, and subscribe. No matter where you're listening to us, whether it's on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, helps us out. And tell a friend that also helps us out. And what helps us out the most is if you come to our Discord. 
chat with us about stuff, anime mostly. That's usually what we talk about, I think, on our Discord about an anime po- podcast. Usually. Usually, it's usually talk about yeah. anime. Yeah. Uh, links to all of our stuff is uh, at our link tree. That's linkter.e slash Pod. And we will be back next week. But until next week, we say as we do at the end of every episode of the Anime Protagonist Podcast, bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.